Don't age restrict this video, YouTube. God damn it. So, who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? What's up guys and welcome to the first Friday Night Mail. I am recording after my vacation. I am so excited to be back. I hope that the sound issues that I had in the first video I recorded back, which was the Adam and Eve haul, which is age restricted, which means that no one saw it. Not even my subscribers or people who have notifications turned on. So definitely make sure to check out my videos tab and actually see the videos that I've currently been uploading because a lot of people are not seeing them. Oh my God, it's crazy. Like you have a steady 1000 people per hour watching and then at a certain point it just drops off entirely and that happens to coincide with one of my videos the exact moment I got age restricted so shit is just crazy the reason I was age restricted is I showed my ass with a thong in it for two seconds something I do very commonly in FNM in the beginning of a video and even after the appeal they stuck to it so hey I am refreshed and ready for the bullshit that is YouTube and for the happiness that is you guys not just the happiness that revolves around physical possessions but actually being able to see, read, comment, and reply to a lot of your comments and feedback. And I just love you guys and love interacting with you guys. It's one of the main reasons that I do this other than me absolutely loving making the content. I'm probably one of those people that to some extent I would still do it if literally zero people were watching because I feel like it's just what I was made for. Anyway, the winner of the birthday FNM that was $50 rather than 25 and I'm gonna try not to have my titties pop out in this video is Louis C.S. Congratulations, Louis C.S. I hope you enjoyed your $50 Amazon gift card and I hope you got yourself something nice and skimpy. Send pics. I actually wouldn't be opposed to you sending me pics in like some male lingerie you got yourself. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. We have some questions at the end that I took from previous FMs, but there wasn't that much because there wasn't many questions or any questions at all in the comment section of the live birthday FM. So I took questions from before that, but there weren't that many. So Mr. God tier question asker, Kenneth Evans is gonna be the star of the show once again. And then I have a question that I don't even understand. We'll get there in a moment. Let's go ahead and open some packages, shall we? I'll also, I am loving this bodysuit so much. How cute! Kinda, ugh, crunching into my vagina though. <laughs> Let's start off with this package. Let's see if I even remember how to do this kind of content. Hopefully I do. Ugh. Have I mentioned how happy I am to be back? Cause I am happy to be back. Ooh, is this more sexy stuff from Jason Voorhees? This is actually a top I could wear. What is it? Oh my God. Spread open a dead rotting one. Dead girls don't say no. It's his. Okay, so I don't think YouTube would take kindly to this kind of stuff because even though it is fantasy and not reality, they have um, not a very fine line anymore between those two things. But I will say that I probably get a little more leeway cause I'm a female, at least in the department of, you know, making funny necrophilic rape jokes. But I don't know if I should be putting this on. Well, we'll put it on for a second just to, just to show it off a little bit, but I'll link his new channel down in the description. He got in trouble for something. I don't know. If you want to check it out, check it out at your own risk. It is pretty gory. He's a huge fan of horror and what that does to a person and psyche and all of the interesting stories that he writes and tells himself. I don't know if he does vocalizations of his actual stories or if he just like puts the text on the screen or whatnot, but if you don't do vocalizations on YouTube, you really should because I think YouTube is more of a place that, you know, even if you're not looking the visuals and you're just like listening in the background, which is something I do quite often when I'm doing other stuff, you still want some audio in the video that isn't just like scary sounds. So that's my one little advice nodule to you and be really vigilant with staying within the terms of service because creative freedom is pretty low on YouTube these days. And of course, make sure you mark all of your videos to not be suitable for children. And in your case, probably 18 plus. Let's go ahead and put this on. I love it. I love this fabric. This is my favorite kind of tank top, to be honest, the racer back that's a little bit loose. I love it. I wear them to bed every single day into the gym most days, unless I'm wearing an actual like Gymshark getup or something. But here it is, supporting a fellow content creator who I need to take this off before I get banned for supporting. Titties not out? Titties are not out. Don't age restrict this video, YouTube. God damn it. Moving on, we have, ooh, let's save this one for next because that's from Pekka. We have another envelope, a prime envelope. Let's do it. Let's do it, my guy. Woo. I cannot wait. Oh my God, I didn't rip it open. Do you see this? Oh, I ripped it in a tiny spot. There's a tiny spot where it's ripped. What is this? We have a note. Let's read the note first before I check out what it is. Hi Tara, I was looking for another unique gift for you to use with your Jeep. I think this is 
perfect. Sorry, not sorry. Now you can bring a version of Eve along with you. Rock on, Tara. Love all you do. Todd, news to me, Wallace. Aww. There's motion at my side. Why is there motion at my side? Explain. Who is it? What happened? I don't see anything. Let's restart the video and find out. <gasps> treachery. Treachery. I've got to patiently wait for it to load into an actual video. Ring doorbell, guys. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What is it? You guys hear this? this is like a fucking zombie or something. There's a cat outside. I found it. And Eve is downstairs freaking out. She's been freaking out because there are three or four cats, one of which looks a lot like Eve that I really want to capture and see if it has like um, the tag thing, the electronic tag thing to like that it has an owner, you know? What are, what are they called? I forget what they're called. The the microchip, microchip. Because if he doesn't have a microchip, try to find him a home or something. He's really fluffy, like even fluffier than Eve, which is crazy. But yeah, there's been like three or four cats in the backyard and in the side yard often, and Eve is just not happy. So moving on, what did Todd so thoughtfully get me? I'm so excited. Oh my God, is this like a one of those things you put on the trailer hitch? Oh, this is so cute. I love it. It's like, okay, so you put this through here after you put it on and it goes through the actual holes on your trailer hitch and then it'll be Eve right there. If I do end up putting this on my Jeep and finding a good place to put it, I will be doing interesting Jeep videos that some of you may or may not find interesting even if you're not into Jeeps. So stay tuned for that. I don't want to spoil it, but this is so cool. Like the thoughtful gift that you got me, the compass. Oh my God. It's like a metal, like military looking compass that stays in my Jeep at all times. So amazing. You're the best, Todd. Thank you so much. Your last like three or four gifts have been beyond amazing. Like something I could never even imagine. I'm not worthy. God, I love you guys. I am so happy to be back. Big hug. Okay, we have to remain professional here. Yes, sirs and ma'ams. I will keep my hands to myself. <laughs> Pekka's package, woo! All right, let's see what Pekka sent me. That, of course, of course, customs destroyed because they do that. Gotta open this up. Why is Eve not bothering me, man? It's because there's cats in the backyard. Something for Eve. Play, best friend, toys. They're little balls, they're Pekka's little balls. Let's open them, yay, oh my God. Very cool. We shall see if Eve enjoys these. I wish she had a little bit bigger of a mouth because she likes to play fetch with me But it has to be something that actually fits into her mouth and I'm not sure that these will but maybe she'll chase them around They're proven to have no toxicity. It says on the package We'll see if she likes them. Thank you, Pekka. I love getting cat toys in the morning or in the afternoon. Let's get everything out and make sure that everything's out so I don't throw it away. I threw away on accident something that Jay had bought in the mail recently, like some pills or something, some like B5 pills or something. But apparently somehow I thought that an empty box, a very surely empty box was empty when it wasn't. Oops. So we have, oh, it's like some Cuttings of Opeth. We've got Opeth. Cuttings. Some cuttings. Ha <laughs> ha. We've got Mastodon. Where is Rockfest? You guys have a Rockfest going on there? All of the good fests are never in Vegas. And I'm thinking the reason that people don't often come to Vegas, even when they tour, like do a large scale US tour, is because it's not as lucrative because people here have so much else to do. And I think there's like crazy venue fees or something that artists just don't want to deal with. I don't know. But I got to see Mona Martha and System of a Down here so far, so I'm happy for that at least. And of course, Arch Enemy, uh, what else was there? At the Gates, etc. Some stuff that opened for System of a Down that I don't care for too much, but you know. No. How do I read this? This is in your ridiculous language. Oh no, is it in German? No, this is this has got to be Finnish. You guys look at this shit. What in the fuck is even going on here? This is like not a language. I swear, Finnish should just not be a language. They should finish using the Finnish language anywhere. I swear. The next thing is this wonderful keychain. I like this. I'm looking for a permanent keychain to go onto my car keys. This is a good contender. I have a ghost, a Pac-Man ghost that I got. I one at the arcade, which I think is pretty cool and matches the color of my Jeep and the color of the sleeve of my fob. So I'm excited about that one right now, but we shall see. Maybe this will be a permanent addition to my collection. I'm burping, sorry. Thank you, Pekka. Okay, so the two letters that Pekka sent me are private, but we're gonna be looking at this which is a card, which I'm sure can't be private because it's a fucking card, okay? Unless it says like, here's a giant picture of my dick or something. I mean, he'd have to blow it up pretty, you know, I'm just kidding, Becca, I love you. I, I can't do that to people who I'm not sure will take it well, you know? And whose dick size I know about because that seems shady. Paivan Prinzhale. It says to the princess of the day, not the bloody month. He's mad that I took a month off. 
Again, put this language to bed, please. You know enjoy this days cause your life as an ethod is over now that you're 30. Don't know about the virgin plebs like Nui or that music snob lol. I guess I'll stick around cause fuck it. Serious though, I loves you bitch, Pekka. XOXO. XOXO to you as well, Pekka. And I will respond to your other letter on Discord, hopefully soon. Oh, like, keep bothering me if I don't. Like bother me on my Twitch stream and other places where I actually check when I'm not in the DMs mode. Because I'm so bad at it, I, I'm not a fan of like keeping up like with people, I don't know. You know how it is. But thank you so much for sending something for my birthday, I love you. It's amazing that it was late because of course, anything that goes through customs takes like 16 months to get to me. You probably sent that on like January 1st and it's now December and I'm getting it. But either way, love you Pekka. The best. You the fucking best. <laughs> I cannot stress enough how good it is to be back. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching all of the content that I put out this last month. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you giving me a little bit of leniency when it comes to like Patreon rewards, which I am now up to date with. I just have to send out the Christmas cards, which haven't come to me yet. I actually filmed the Christmas cards the day I got back and then was like hurrying to find the one that I liked the most, edit it, get it put on a Christmas card, then send it out. And I have to like expedite the shipping because I know that for the EU, it's not even gonna get there by Christmas, but it will get there hopefully by some point soon after New Year's. <laughs> You never know with customs, I swear. I send out the autographed images like the first week of the month on time every time now. And some people, especially including Pekka, are like, hey, I got it, end of the month. Customs, it's just a piece of paper. You don't need to like bomb it and dog sniff it and fucking drug hustle it out there. You know, it's not something dangerous. I mean, I guess it could be. I guess they make really small dangerous things these days. Like Pekka's dick. <laughs> Moving on, we have something most likely from Jason for Voorhees 2. I can stop calling him that now, can't I? Christianity is enslavement. In God. No God. Not a religion. I thought it said in God. I thought it was gonna do the in God we trust thing. And then on the back, it says we live for Satan. Die for Satan. I don't live for Satan or die for Satan. In fact, a lot of people who watched my Satanism video where I was just saying that it looks like a better thing than Christianity, but is still just as fucking stupid to have some kind of theism in your life. They took that as me being a Satanist. I want to make it clear that I love Satan. Satan type stuff, Satan themed outfits, and I don't care if it offends Christians because who the fuck cares, but just because I like that aesthetic and I like music that a lot of people deem satanic when it's not, but it does have like iconography from that because it's like an aesthetic, you know? I do enjoy that, but that does not mean I am a Satanist. I am an atheist through and through. And until someone not only proves that there is a higher being and proves otherwise to me with factual evidence, not like what they feel and what they've experienced themselves near death, oh my God. No offense. And also tells me why I should care that there's a higher being. Why I should devote my life and gives me good evidence as to why I should. Yeah, I'm gonna stay that way. So no offense to theists of any kind. I will not die, but fight for your right to believe whatever the fuck you want. Anyway, in short, thank you, Jason. I appreciate it. Again, his links will be down in the description. Um, this seems more like a shirt that Jay would fit into, but not even. Stop sending me the really starchy ones. I'm never gonna wear the really starchy ones. That one that you sent? The dead girls don't say no? Perfect, perfect type of apparel to send me because I will actually wear that. But it's always a thought that counts. Thank you and Mary Satan Mus. That was cringy. Moving on. We've got boxes, boxes, girl. We've got boxes. Um, Kermit, Kermit the box frog. Oh, box turtles. There are actually box turtles. I had a box turtle once. Her name was Myrtle. She died. I don't know why she died. I was like really young and I feel like my parents didn't e exactly explain why, but I liked her and I fed her strawberries and it was really cute. Hi Tara, I know we all love the look of your aviator frames, but question, do they protect your beautiful eyes against UV rays? Are they polarized? These native brand sports optics do all that. Hope you like them, Todd. I thought it was gonna be some dude. <laughs> Like shilling his brand at me, but instead it's Todd really vehemently loving a product It's kind of sad that nowadays when you vehemently love a product Which is like what happens with me often if I gush about a product I'm not just being nice I literally love it and literally use it But then sometimes I feel like a corporate shill even though I'm not being paid and then I'm like wait Should I even like talk about these products if I'm not being paid? I mean it seems like a bad business move But then if I talk about it when I am being paid <sighs> 
well then people just accuse me of being a liar so let's try these on Let, let's see what's up maybe these could be my new driving glasses because i won't care what i look like okay i can't even see the screen anymore do i look hot in these whoa it's like the screen is black do I look cool? Do I look fucking, yeah, do I look, okay, what do, what do I look like? Oh my gosh. That's cool. All of my sunglasses that I wear, I have to keep them down, halfway down my nose, because otherwise my long ass eyelashes hit the front. <laughs> It's so ridiculous. But yeah, I, I could wear these. I could wear these for a bit. They definitely make everything darker. In fact, the longer I look at my screen, my LCD screen up there, it occasionally like zooms brighter. I feel like there's some kind of technology in these. It's weird. I hate the soccer mom look that I get when I'm wearing sunglasses and I just tilt them up. Oh my God. Like this is okay. Here, we gotta get sexy again. Mm, yes. So you put them in like that. And then you have some hair in the front. No, I still look like a fucking soccer mom, don't I? That's horrible. Well, from this side, for some reason, I look like Britney Spears era thoughts, you know? And then from this side, what am I going on about? Thank you! Todd, I will put these in my Jeep because I've had my aviators in the Jeep, but they're also dirty and broken and shit, so maybe I'll just use these as the ones that I wear when it's really fucking bright out and I'm driving, because that seems legit. Also, you've been buying me so many things for my Jeep, so just add this to another thing on the list. And it comes with a really cool case. I love the case. The case is legit. Why don't they have aviator-shaped eyewear? What is inherently bad about aviator-shaped eyewear to the point where you just can't make it, you know? Come on, come on. All right, next package. Next package, I love you. Todd Wallace, ooh. Woman's vintage cap Jeep hair don't care. Yay! Is this from, this has gotta be from Todd as well. Let's see. Oh, is my titty out? Hopefully my titty's not out. I can't see who it's from, but I'm gonna assume it's from Todd. I cannot wait to have Jeep hair and not care. Okay, here we go. This is my new getup. One moment. Okay, that's way too tight. So I'm gonna have Jeep hair, so I have to wear a hat, obviously. And then I'm gonna wear these because I wanna actually protect my eyes. And there you go. That's my new incognito. Hopefully you haven't. But if you live anywhere near me and you have ever been to the gym that I go to, this is what I always look like, except for no makeup. Because I don't want anyone ever talking to me, ever, at the gym. And I don't wanna be recognized I don't want people to know where I frequent. I just want to get the fuck in, actually work out, be in my own little zone. I'll have like the big ass fucking headphones on too. But I love this because I plan on taking the top off and the doors off my Jeep when it gets hotter. Not right now because I'll have to put it back on as soon as I take it off, which sucks. And it's really fucking cold here. You would not even imagine how cold it gets in Vegas, but I will stop rambling. I love you so much, Todd. If someone else bought this for me, please let me know. I love that it's pink, but I almost wish that it was the color of my Jeep now, which is firecracker red. <laughs> You know, red was my favorite color. Red is also my video editor. <laughs> but red was my favorite color when I was like zero. That's why I chose to play Pokemon red rather than blue. My dad played blue and I played red because that was my favorite color. And then when I stopped being such a fucking tomboy, this is the heaviest box in the universe. I can't, oh, it's from Joseph Michaels. My BFF. But anyway, when I became a little bit girlier, that is when hot pink became my favorite color. So yeah, a little fun, dumb ass fucking backstory. But by the way, either today or tomorrow, I'm gonna be filming the video of me finally exposing how horrible of a person I was as a teenager slash preteen and all of the sexual horrible, oh, just, I was a horrible person, you'll see. But I'm gonna be reading my diary that you guys might have seen me get in my birthday FNM live stream because my parents sent it to me. I'd asked my mom, I was like, yo, mom, you got anything that's like old cringy stuff? And they sent it to me for my birthday. Long story short. Short story long. As it is usually with me. Joseph Michael says, hey BFF, all Star Wars things are for you and the Batman, Robocop, and Predator things are for Jay. Sorry, nothing for Eve this time around. Enjoy your stuff. Love your BFF, Joseph Michael. P.S. Read the letter off camera if you wish to do so. If you want to read on camera, then feel free to do so. Damn, I got choices. I will read it off camera because anyone who says like, but if you really want to read it on camera, you can. I feel like they're just being nice. Don't be a pushover. Be like, this is kind of private. Don't fucking read it on camera, you dumb cunt. I sent it just for you. So we've got the Skywalker Saga. He was a little bit sad because he sent me a bunch of Star Wars stuff and he always sends me a bunch of Star Wars stuff. But I recently said that I don't give a shit about Star Wars anymore. Well, I redact that and I replace it with, I love old Star Wars stuff. Episodes one through six, all good stuff. And yes, I like the prequels. And then also Jedi Fallen Order. I'm playing that game with Jay and I love it. Oh 
Oh my god, BD1 is the cutest droid of all droids. I am sorry, R2D2 and BB8, but oh my god, BD1 is so cute. So I like those things. I like this stuff. But when it comes to the new stuff, I just don't care. If you want to send me like a Blu-ray copy so I'll actually watch it. Oh. Exactly what I said. I will watch this now, finally. Because like, I don't wanna give it a shot in the theaters because I hate going to movie theaters. So unless it's like my absolute favorite thing ever, I'll go, but I'm not going on opening weekend because I just don't like it. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, R2-D2, my second favorite droid. Oh my God, you packaged these really well. This is great. This is gonna be great for my cubby. He's so cute and tiny and bobble-headed. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this, guys. He is so cute. Oh, almost as cute as Joseph himself. I love it. This is the cutest little, oh. I love it, okay. This is good gifts, definitely good gifts. And then we got a Darth Vader. Oh, I think this is my first Darth Vader, or my second Darth Vader, because I have a smaller one that sits on a stand that I think you got me as well. Very cute. Don't forget to check your Amazon box, because of course I got you something for your birthday as well. So, we've got Solo, Predator, this is for Jay, but I, I really want to watch this, because I don't remember any of the Predator movies. It's a, oops. It is a four movie collection. Collection. So we got Predator, Predator 2, Predators, and The Predator. You know them movie name and conventions don't get any better than that. We've got Robocop. I loved this movie. I'm glad to have it. Thank you so much. Well, Jay will thank you. Technically anything that's his is very much mine, so we'll be good with that. We've got a solo book, which is interesting. What's her face is in this? That's weird. Oh, there's a lightsaber that popped out of this. Uh, an evil lightsaber just popped out. Must be from this. Wow, good guess, Tara. Good guess. I was like, what the hell is that, a bomb? I don't know. Solo Star Wars. I'm taking all of the fucking Batman stuff. Ooh, black and white. This is legit. There's something cool about the black and white aesthetic of manga. Uh, specifically manga because I don't really read comic books that often but manga in particular I like it black and white but then the times that I've gotten a non black and white manga like for instance the Levi Chronicles I was overwhelmed by the beauty of the colorized pages so I don't know this is it's got like a noir chic to it oh I can actually say the word noir finally cheese but <sighs> I don't know, I just, I would love color so much. To the point where like, even when a picture would probably be better off in like a black and white or gray scale, I end up always going with the color because I just love color. Obviously you can tell by my entire life, all of my sets, everything that I enjoy, that I am very much a lover of color and colorfulness and just being overly colorful. So we've got Darth Vader, color your own. It's not just black and white, it's color your own. So I can choose the colors. We can make Darth Vader so gay, it would be so great. And then color your own Han Solo, which we can make black and more appropriate for the for the climate of the time. We, we can make him have like a, what's that, a vitiligo. We can make him have like a nice vitiligo and be like, you know, beauty in all colors and shit. Not that there aren't some very beautiful fucking models with vitiligo, but acting like that just having some kind of genetic difference or any kind of genetic trait makes you special in any way is kind of cringe to me, you know? But I guess when someone goes through hardships, we should, you know, make them feel special for the thing that they have that makes them different and makes them feel better, whatever. Even if I think the better course of action is obviously just like owning all of your traits but not making any one of your traits completely define you because you're just hiding behind it in order to not be super offended all the time. Moving on! <laughs> oh my god, Jeep hair don't care. <laughs> Tara brain don't care. Oh my god. I just want to go off-roading but I don't have an air compressor. I don't have a winch and if I'm going alone I need an electric winch. I don't know, maybe I can do some easy off-road stuff. Stuff where it's like you need a high clearance vehicle but I could stay in two-wheel drive the whole time even though I shouldn't have because if you have a four-wheel drive vehicle why not put it in four-wheel drive and have better traction overall and by the time you get stuck anyway you're probably gonna be stuck still if you shifted into four-wheel drive at that moment. I've been doing a lot of reading on this topic. Moving on. Oh you know what this probably would look really good here. I'm assuming that these are the sunglasses that you wear Todd and I think you should because they very much protect you and I want you protected so that you can see me opening your packages and my titties whenever it so does please you. Let's see what's up with this. Lots of fluff. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, this is China. Made in China. Okay, I can't do accents anymore. It's just rude. It's just rude these days. Enjoy your gift from Robert Stickler. Oh, so Robert got me some Jeep stuff. Interesting. Okay, so maybe the hat's from Robert. I feel like anything that doesn't have a note is probably from Robert, because Robert doesn't seem to care as much about the notes. 
as I do. So let's see. Ooh, okay. So well, hopefully this isn't too fucked up. This is a little insert for like, um, you know how in the, the front seat of cars, specifically my Jeep, uh, there's a little place where you can like grab on to a handle. It's like right above the glove box. Well, this goes inside that area. If I can figure out how to fucking make this work out. The little sticky thing is up in there. It goes inside there and it holds like a cell phone or something because there isn't that much storage in the front. I guess there is. There's like the, the middle console thing and then you open it up and there's like two layers to it. But still, it's kind of just like throwing your keys or whatever else into like a chasm in there. So this just adds a little bit of storage. Again, you'll see the fun Jeep videos I have planned and I think you guys should give them a shot, especially if you like ASMR. Okay, and then we have this. What is this? Oh, my stubby fucking antenna. Look, it's a red antenna. Antenna, I feel like I say that weird. Oh, and look, my nails match perfectly. There we go. Oh yes, your tiny skinny penis is being touched. No, but um, I keep hitting my antenna on like, antenna. Antenna, antenna, what do you think? Sounds like the difference between in League of Legends when someone says Janna and Janna, and I feel like one of them is entirely wrong, and I feel like that's Janna. But if she's like British or something, maybe, I don't know, or Swedish? I, I don't even know the backstory of Janna. But it is undeniable that a lot of people say Janna. Anyway, this is supposed to perform better than the stock antenna, and it is metal, so it doesn't bend. I think I might actually like scratch off this little logo here. You can't see it, but it says Cartau. I don't know. And then uh, put it on instead of the big one that's silver. It's one of the only pieces of chrome slash silver on my entire Jeep, and I really want to black and red out the Jeep. I want red as the main color and black as the accents, and I'm gonna get nicer fenders. I'm gonna get nicer bumpers. We're gonna get a winch on there. We're gonna, we're gonna try to do a lot of this stuff ourselves. I'm a little bit hasty to do any of the work that requires any kind of electrical knowledge, even if there's like stuff you can follow, but I wanna try some things. Anyway, I'm excited about my new medium sized penis antenna. It's gonna be cool. Thank you so much, Robert. I appreciate it. I love getting swag for my Jeep. I'm so excited. And then the last thing is this license plate holder that I really wanted. I see a lot of really ugly license plate holders and right now, oh, this actually smells really good. It smells like paint. But right now I have one from the dealership and I am not going to be a driving, moving fucking billboard for a random dealership. Even though the dealership sold me the car, which is a huge story within itself. Oh my God, that's gonna be, just wait until I put that video out. But yeah, this is a silicone one. I've never seen this before and it kind of has it over the front as an inlay, which I like a lot. And I'm hoping to get black screws for it. So it's just kind of sitting on there nicely. One moment, I'm going to get the license plate, the mock license plate that Todd sent me and we're gonna see what this will look like because I'm interested. It's got this nice little pattern on the back. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see that. Look at that like beautiful diamond pattern. I feel like this is so much prettier than everyone's standard like barely sticking on and like fucking bending off license plate holder. BRB, you shall see. Me pee. No, you won't see me pee. BRB. Okay, so we've got Jeep for Terra, which by the way, Todd so wonderfully bought me before he knew that I was actually gonna go for it and get the Jeep, which is pretty cool. But let's go ahead and stick this. So there's like a little lip you stick it into. Is this too long? No, it's not. I think it fits perfectly. Okay, so let's stick it into the side first. This is difficult. And then wrap it around the front. You guys are obviously only looking at my boobs at this moment because you can't even see what I'm doing. And there we have it. This this might be a good thumbnail. I love it. Thank you so much, Todd, again for this that I got. Ooh, that would be good for ASMR. Thank you for the license plate and thank you for the license plate cover. Robert, you are amazing. I love you very much. I should just keep this here. It can hold up my boobies because I'm not wearing a bra. Who are we kidding? I almost never wear a bra these days. I just like it so much better when I don't. Pen ultimate package. Pen ultimate. It has the ultimate pen inside. I love you guys. I love you guys. So oh, no way. <gasps> this is from Nina. She told me that this was coming. It's a Shenron. It's a big Funko Pop Shenron. And I love it so much. That's the coolest thing ever. Holy shit. Oh, Nina, you're the fucking best, dude. I should go like this. Put it in front of my face. Just fuck my face, you know? Fuck my face. <laughs> okay, gotta get the hair off the titty because we gotta show off the titty, obviously, if we want the clicks. 
Oh man, I love you guys so much. Nina, this is amazing because I've wanted this for a very long time. I think this is probably the coolest Funko Pop in existence. Other than of course the one that my editor Red got me. The two that my editor Red got me. Where is one of them? One of them I was gonna put in my set. The Dwight Schrute one, the schnicker, schnicker doodle. What is it? I'm hearing it in his voice, but I'm not hearing the whole whole word, the whole name. Uh, uh, Bell, Bell Schnickel. The Bell Schnickel Dwight Schrute Funko Pop is pretty fucking good. And the Abigail and and uh, what's the name of my chick? My actual chick, because it's Abby and, you know, the, the don't starve together. I know the name of Abby better than I know the name of my actual character. Oh man, I love you, Nina, you're amazing. I love you, Todd, you're amazing. I love you, Joe, you're amazing. Ah, you guys are just all amazing. Stop being so amazing for a little bit, okay? Because I had way too good of a birthday, a la you guys, and I'd like to not feel guilty on Christmas, okay? You know? I'm gonna have to give a bunch of money to the poor or something just to like fix my ego, put my ego in check. And I'm not gonna do that, you know? So just stop. I love you guys, by the way. Wow, speaking of, Nina got me. Okay, Red, you've been outdone. Nina got me the Dwight Troop bobblehead, the one from the show. Oh, this is the best. Dude, Dwight stuff, Dragon Ball Z stuff, Star Wars stuff, Jeep stuff. Definitely the best. I love you guys so much. Ah, I love you so much. Let's take a couple questions. The only questions that we really got, to be honest. Let's go ahead and do it now. I have them saved in my phone. Oh my God, I'm looking at the side view again. Oopsie doopsie. Got to poopsie. I don't have to poop, at least not right now. So let's start with the first question. Kenneth Evans says, question. What are the three most sensitive erogenous zones on your body? Okay, so I am the kind of person that really doesn't like the sensual foreplay type stuff. So I don't have like, and then he nibbles on my ears and then he like licks my toe and he touches my belly button and then the smell of my back. It's like, oh my God, if I'm in the mood or if I'm really into a guy, he touches me anywhere and I'm like, just fucking goose bumps all over the place. But the only places that I would always equate to being sexual are like my clitoris, my vagina, <laughs> And yeah, like that's it. My asshole, I don't know. Like I don't have these really complex. So yeah, I, I'm pretty straightforward. I'm pretty much like a dude. Like if you ask a dude, most dudes, mind you, there are some dudes that are like, oh my God, I love it. When she like the fucking Achilles heel, she slashes it and then I fall and I can't walk anymore. God, it's so fucking hot. Uh, anyway, but especially women, I would say who have a lot of erogenous zones. I would say the only thing that I like a lot is, um, fuck, my Roomba's turning on. Roomba, no, go home Roomba, go home. Oh, you gotta run the footage. Oh. Opening the iRobot app for three hours to stop the Roomba. How much longer do I have? I don't even know how much longer I have until this fucking restarts. No, you pause. Okay, we paused it. So anyway, yeah, um, I do like stuff on the neck a little bit, but you know, it's not, it doesn't work with everyone. It has to be with a specific person and I'm in a specific mood. You know, it can't just be like, oh, this guy walked by and accidentally breathed on my neck, which is really fucking creepy. Don't get that close to me ever without permission or without willing to fight for your life. <laughs> But anyway, doesn't work for everyone. I don't know, maybe that's the definition of erogenous zones. Maybe it's like, when you really like a guy, where do you want to be touched? But there's no place it's just like, oh, that'll get me every time, you know? Thank you, Kenneth, for the question. So, Spicy Calamari says, any chance you can dump the duns? There's a chance, because I don't know what that means. If anyone wants to tell me in the comments what this guy means by dumping the duns, it sounds like a, a Cleveland steamer type sex thing. Yeah, so there is a chance, yes. There, there is a, probably a slight chance because you want me to do it, but you know. And our last question this week comes again from the God King himself of questions, Kenneth Evans. He says, another question if you don't want to answer the other one, so question. Little does he know, I answered both of them. Coming in hot with the unexpectedness. If you had the power to heal anyone just by touching, but the cost of having this power is that every time you use it, you lose time off of your own life. How often would you use this power or would you choose not to use it? Um, I would literally only use it on Jay and Eve and like maybe my parents. Love you guys. Mwah, I love you so much. But like, yeah, I would almost never use it. Or maybe on animals. I would probably get to the point where I'm like not attractive anymore. Like, and I just kind of don't have any use on the this planet because <laughs> we all know that's my only use. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't worry about me guys. But um, I would get to a point where I've just kind of lived it all, which I already feel like I'm close to that point. Like life is good. I did a lot of stuff I wanted to do, almost everything. And now I'm just kind of doing other things that I want to do and I'm just happy and trying to maintain what I have. So if I got to a point where I was 
really just not myself anymore because of my age. You know, just can't hike, can't move around much, or in pain all the time. I would just use it on animals. Sick and injured animals. I would be at the fucking uh, adoption place or at the kennel or whatever, just using it on animals. Like, pow, 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 like that. But yeah, I would almost never use it. And I wouldn't let anyone know. I would be, that would be a closely guarded secret. It would be like, I am a Jedi within the fucking Imperial Republic thingy. I'm, I'm really bad at that kind of thing. I'm really bad at remembering. So there was the Republic and then it became uh, the Empire. Yeah, so if I was a Jedi within the Empire and I was trying to hide from um, the fucking purge dudes. I I would be acting like that in this real life right now with that power because I know I would either become a lab rat, which I, I'm all for. I think we should be testing shit and stop worrying so much about ethics and science, in my opinion, because I think the greater good outweighs the detriment, especially when people like sign up for it. It's weird that we can't consent to things that could be harmful to us, but we can in some circumstances. It's I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this first Friday night mail back. I'm looking in the viewfinder a lot more because I'm not used to filming and I'm like is everything am I still centered does it still look good I don't know but I appreciate you guys coming back and watching and next time hopefully we'll have some sexy outfits or something a little bit more appealing but oh my god I don't even want to change out of this shirt it is so good or bodysuit I guess technically but it looks like a shirt how good is this shirt I like this shirt yes okay I'm gonna go send this over to Red and then finish the edit on it if he gets it done. Quick turnaround time. Bye guys, another hug, cause we're back. Ah! Oh yeah, like the video. Sorry, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out other videos that you might have missed because I still upload every Tuesday and Friday without fail, even when I was on vacation because that's just how much I fucking love you guys. Oh yeah. And how much I love to be on schedule with content, to be honest. So I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.